And the second is, and again it's been mentioned, to save Medicare from subtle strangulation. And when, when you go back to your constituency and you run into somebody who says, it's, oh, it's a good idea for you soft-hearted humanitarians, but we can't afford it, let me give you a simple statistic which you can put down on a piece of paper and carry in your head. And that is that our friends in the United States are spending 9% of their gross national product. And they get a higher per capita gross national product than we do. They spend 9% of their gross national product on health care and 34 million of their people have no health care coverage. And in Canada, we spend 7% of our gross national product and every man, woman and child in Canada is covered under Medicare. But I want to warn you, as one who started out even before I was in politics, dedicated to the idea of comprehensive health insurance, fought for it through all my political life. I want to say to you that Medicare and hospital insurance are already marked for destruction unless you stop the per capita taxes and the extra billing which most of the governments of Canada are, are now permitting. Someone said, well, what harm can it do? What harm can it do? A per capita tax which is levied without any basis of ability to pay a woman in Ontario with two children having to pay over $50 a month, $600 a year. Can she afford that? And that's levied on the basis, on a per capita basis, not on the basis of ability to pay. I know you need money to run Medicare. Al Blake and I can tell you something about the cost of that. But if we need money for Medicare or for any other humane service, let it be financed on the basis of ability to pay and not on so much per head. We must fight as we have never fought before to say per capita tax for health care out the window. To say there must be no extra, extra billing or extra charges. Well, you say, why? What harm does it do? I'll tell you what harm it does. It means that increasingly the people who can afford to pay the per capita tax, and it's going up, just going up in Alberta, People can afford to pay the per capita tax and the people who can afford to pay extra billing will pay it. And they will get the best care. They will get the most experienced surgeons and physicians. They will get into the best hospitals. And the people who can't pay, they'll take what's left. If you want a two-tiered health program, then just continue the way we're going. And I remind you that in this movement we pledged ourselves 50 years ago that we would provide health care for every man, woman, and child irrespective of their color, their race, or their financial status. And by God, we're going to do it! <laughs>